Hey there, it's Theo from ITH Media. And in this video, I want to talk about something that I witnessed time and time again uh, regarding, you know, the difference between successful clinic owners and aesthetic clinic owners that are not successful. And that's something that became very, very well apparent uh, after working with over 40 clinics. You know, I can tell that successful aesthetic clinics or medical by owners, they, they have this one trait that non-successful clinic owners have. And that threat is, you know, your ability to take action and to have faith in the process. Uh, oftentimes, you know, when I'm on the call with potential clients, you know, like the ones that are struggling with the most are the ones that can't take, um, that they have a problem with their, their ability to take decisions, you know, even if there's something that looks good and a path that is promising, um, they will be extremely skeptical and they will be more, they, they will op operate on the state of fear uh, rather than operate in the state of uh, enthusiasm. So they will look at, you know, our services and be like, mm, what if it doesn't work? They would like look for reason for this not to work. Uh, they would not even focus too much on our testimonials and our the proof that this works. And they will try to find reason why this wouldn't work. They would be more scared of the potential outcome of this not working than excited of the potential outcome of this working and growing their clinic. And that's really the number one thing that I see like in, in business owners that are successful um, is their ability to be more excited about, about the, the potential return on investment, the outcome, because you attract what you are, you attract what, what, what energy, what you focus on. So if you focus on something on, on reason why this wouldn't work, and we've had clients like that as well, uh, they would sign and then focus on why this can't work. Uh, and then we have like clients that, that they're, they're the other way around and they just, they just attract different type of customers because the way you think about something is the way you think about everything. So that's going to show up. If you're just the person that is focusing on negativity and things that might go wrong, that's going to show up in, in your behavior and the way you handle your customer service and the way you deliver treatments and try to sell customers. And that's a mindset shift that you absolutely need to have. Uh, if you want to go to your medical spa, your aesthetic clinic, you have to start focusing on, on things that are going to make you grow because and that starts with you uh, by investing in something that can make your business grow. And if you adopt that mindset, uh, that's going to make it much more, that's, that's going to be much easier for you to attract that type of client, you know, that want to spend money and that are also willing to grow because you are yourself that person. But if you're the kind of person that, you know, comes on a call with us and just be like, hmm, I don't know, I don't know if it's going to work. It's a lot of money. What if it doesn't work? Let me process it. Let me think about it. Guess who's going? To, who you're going to attract as a customer? You're going to attract people that say the same thing to you. You're going to attract people that are going to say, mm, "I don't know. I want to think about it. It's a bit of expensive. Uh, I don't know if I can afford it." And then, and then not going to buy, and they're going to go. So, one thing that I've learned a long time ago that really stayed with me for a while is. I don't remember exactly what that was, but that was like you attract, you are the customer that you attract or something like that. Like whatever customer that you have when you whenever you make business, whether it's with us at ITH Media or any other type of business, if you're the type of person that needs to process it, that can't take action on the spot, that doesn't know what he or she wants and and you need like 100 years to, to make a decision Guess who you're going to attract? You're going to attract that exact type of person. So if you want the customer that has money, if you want the customer that is not a time waster, that is willing to pay for what they want, they know what they want, you have to become that person first. And, and when I, I'm on the call with some clinic owners, oftentimes I'm like, no wonder why you're not successful, why you're not getting the growth that you want. Because you come on the call, you know the price, you know everything, you know it makes sense on paper, you know you can make a lot, of, you, you're going to make a lot of money with that. Yet, you need to process it and to think about it. Like, 
you can process as much as you want, but your 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 customers are going to process it too, and they're not going to buy from you. So you really attract who you are, and 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 really like what I saw, like what what I witnessed is really the the indecisiveness and the ability to not take action is going to just kill your business, you know. So you have to step up as a business owner. You have to step up your mindset because everything is in the mind. And and when you come on the call with us, you know, I highly recommend, especially if you saw some of our content, if you saw our demo presentation, you know, to come with the mindset of I'm going to make a decision, whether it's a yes or whether it's a no, I'm not going to leave that decision to another call. If you come to us and you're like, okay, I'm not ready yet. You know, first of all, I, I'd probably recommend you don't book a call. If you know you're not ready yet, why would you even book a call? Uh, but if you if you if you come on the call and and you're just you th- you need to think about it like i can tell you that 80% of the time people thinking about it end up not taking any action and they end up staying where they are they they they're going to end up like wait for it's a magical thing to happen for for them to to be able to pull the trigger so i recommend i know it's hard if you're an overthinker you know, you probably want to analyze things very logically. Does this work? But sometimes you have to shut up the logical mind. The logical mind is just going to keep holding you exactly where you are. You have to operate on your new level, like to to think in a different way. Think outside of your the way you're thinking right now. Because uh, if you're here and the person you want to be is here, you're going to have to to think the way this person is thinking, not the way you're thinking, you know? So that's the only way to grow. You know, I've myself like joined programs that are like very expensive and I'm part me. I don't personally meet Theo. I did not want to join these programs because I thought it would be too expensive. And it is, I don't know, maybe it doesn't work, but, but I'm thinking that's the thinking of the person that, that is not successful. So, if I need, I must adopt this thinking of a successful person, even if I'm not this person yet, in order for me to be successful. Um, so if you're not there yet, if you're if you're someone like that, like that I just described, that that needs to think about it, you need to to adopt the decision making process of someone that is successful, because this decision making process will will make you a lot of money in the long term, and even if you end up, you know taking the wrong decision at least you took that decision fast and now you got out of your system you learned something and you can go up and and learn from it but if you go around and not even taking the decision in the first place postponing that you didn't get to level two you know you're still stuck at level one so make the mistakes as fast as possible even if you want to work with us you know and you're skeptical the right mindset is look i know i need more customers you know it, it looks like they know what they're doing. They have a good, very good track record. They they have a good system. That makes sense. Um, nothing is ever promised. It could be something that goes wrong and that things doesn't click. And sure, okay, wh- what else? Are you going to be harmless after that? No, you, you will learn from that experience. Um, what if it does work? What if it does work and now... Now you're doubling your revenue. You're making an extra, you know, 10K a month. Uh, you, you're, you're like, you get like a much bigger database of clients coming back over and over. And uh, and and just your business is just growing, you know. You find like a, a, like a reliable partner that can get you a consistent f- flow of bookings on the monthly basis. And you can check out our website. We've got clients like Red Ribbon and Clinic. Last month, we got them 38 in clinic consultation, um, 38, you know, and most of them are with paid deposit, people that are prepaying. Uh, and the other ones are pe- people that are going to pay in clinic. Um, but, but yeah, like our system works. So if, you, if you're on the fence, I highly recommend that you check out our website, check out our demo presentation, educate yourself first, have a look at some of your YouTube content. And once you know you don't have to overthinking or watch everything uh, once you feel like this could work this makes sense 
it's time to pull the trigger because things, your business is not going to grow itself. You must do something different and you can't do everything alone. You need to hire people to get the help you need. Like I, we have a team of eight, uh, eight or nine right now because I can't do everything myself. So that's why I hire people. And that's the same for, for anyone, you know, like you cannot do everything. You need help with marketing. And, and if you need someone like you need this help basically now or yesterday, you know, because doesn't, the problem is not going to solve itself. If you're not getting, if you're not fully booked, which should be your absolute goal, like how, well, what's your plan? Like <laughs> you, you, you must, you need a plan. So if you are in this position right now, you're dissatisfied with what you are. I highly recommend you create some urgency because the 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 longer you postpone fixing that problem and 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 the less you can get things done. And you, you need to create some urgency, you know, uh, and to adapt, even if you're not there yet, adopt the thinking of a successful person. Like whoever you want to become, you gotta adopt the thinking of that person now. Uh, so if you want to learn more about what we do, again, check out our websites when you're ready, when you think it's a good time for you to invest, book a call with us. You'll speak with Noor, which is a, our uh, marketing director, and she'll explain you briefly how this works, how we can help, and ask you a couple questions to see if you're a good fit. Uh, and from there, um, you'll get on a call with either me or someone else from our team to to see uh to explain you how this works in more details so yeah thank you for watching this video i hope you liked it and uh hopefully i'll speak with you soon and don't forget to subscribe also <laughs> and to leave a comment if you enjoy that video also you can follow us on instagram at ith.media um we just put daily videos there with like really good values to help your clinic grow so thanks for your time Go ahead on uh, go on our website, book a call, and hopefully I'll speak with you soon. Cheers.